Well, looks like we could have some, a decent outbreak of severe weather across portions of the area today where? We'll get to that in a minute, but we'll go with a more widespread threat here. Do have a chance of some excessive rainfall? It's been raining around here over the past 30 days. It's no secret to that. The best chance will be across the northern half of the area, basically north of Riverdale and north of Midwest. Green areas are marginal risk, about a 5% chance of seeing flash flooding within about a 25 mile area. Best chance, Cody Grable onto the north, north of Buffalo as well, about a 15% chance there. But now you're here to talk about severe weather. So overall severe weather outlook, just about everybody east of the Continental Divide has some risk of severe weather. It's a marginal risk, gets the area in green here. Bump it up to a slight, that's a better chance of seeing that. Basically, uh, eastern, much of Johnson County down toward the northwestern corner of uh, the Trumbull County around the Midwest area includes KC, Lynch, up toward uh, the Buffalo area. And one thing they did move up today, you see this little bit, this area in here, just close to eastern Johnson County, that's an enhanced risk. We don't see that much around here, maybe once a year, maybe once every couple of years. So this could be fairly notable out in this area if things set up right. So when you think of severe weather, three parameters you think of. Tornadoes, damaging wind, as well as hail. Take a look at each one of those. Start by taking a look at the uh, severe wind threat. This covers just about the whole area. For many areas down here, this will probably be the best threat of this since moisture won't be quite as deep when the thunderstorms develop this afternoon. But just about everybody in that area will have a 5% chance. Best chances we'd expect slight risk area, basically Buffalo down toward Midwest. Now we move on to the T word. That's tornadoes. It's not zero, but it's not the biggest threat in the world. And you see the main threat, about a 2% chance within any 25 mile point. That's the area in the green Sheridan basically down through the Bighorns, Casey, down toward includes the Casper area as well, and onto the east Evansville. But the best chance, that's in the brown, a 5% chance within 25 miles, basically east of I-25 in that usual area, basically Midwest, up toward Casey, up toward Buffalo, and onto the east, especially east of Interstate 25, and especially if you're traveling over toward Douglas, and now toward the Gillette area. Now the main risk I think out of this as far as impactful, maybe damaging weather, could be large hail. We'll take a look at that. Now notice this area in here, one, you can see the red, that usually indicates it's gonna be bad. But also take a look at this, it's what we call the hatched area. See these lines going this way like that. That means it's an enhanced chance of seeing some big hail, basically two inches or bigger in diameter. That's about the size of a golf ball. Now think of it this way. You get quarter size hail, that can put a dent maybe in your car or something like that. Two inches or bigger in diameter is dangerous. That might put a dent in your head and that you wouldn't ruin your day. That could also break windows, cause maybe structural damage as well. So again, Midwest, up toward Buffalo and on to the east, the best chance will be in that enhanced area, especially out towards Gillette. So if you're heading on I-90 out toward Rapid City and out here toward Douglas, maybe down toward Cheyenne, make sure you keep an eye on the weather if you have to travel down in that area. So as we sum it up, be some showers around maybe isolated thunderstorms this morning, but the stronger thunderstorms will develop early afternoon and spread to the north and east of the evening. Best chance of seeing that severe weather between about 2 and 8 p.m. That's when it usually develops during the heat of the day. Now, Johnson County, the best chance of seeing those severe thunderstorms. After that, I'd say Detroit and Bighorn, Washington County, for just about everywhere east of the divide, we'll have a chance of seeing one. And finally, damaging wind gusts will be the most widespread threat. Best chance that large hail and tornadoes will be in Detroit and Johnson counties, maybe Washakie, as well as Bighorn counties. And a couple of safety tips I want to leave you with here. A couple of definitions here. If you get a severe thunderstorm, watch, for example. Watch means be prepared. Severe weather is possible, but hasn't been noted yet. If you see warnings, that means you got to take action if it's in your area. Severe weather has been sighted or it's indicated by a radar. See that warning pop up, basically you see the scroll on your screen or an annoying uh, sound on your cell phone. A couple other things, have multiple ways to get warnings. Weather radio is a good way for that. Also TV, cell phone, etc. Many different ways to see that, get those. You get into a sturdy building when severe weather approaches. Stay away from those windows, especially with hail, maybe if a tornado is approaching. And one other thing I want to emphasize here, I know some people talk about this. Do not rely on sirens. These are made for outdoor things. So if you're in your house and you say, I didn't hear the siren, it's not designed for an indoor thing. It's designed for outdoors. So make sure you have multiple ways to get those warnings. And there's our resources here. You want weather, weather.gov slash R-A-W. Look at those road conditions. I go over this every video. Why I wrote that info, call them on the phone, 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road out of state. You want more technical information on the severe thunderstorms. You want to really geek out. Some really technical stuff here. Go to the Storm Prediction Center website. That's SPC. Not Noah, not Gov. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.